the left right movement is now completed but if i run the game and you will notice that the player seems to be floating and also that there is no shadow of the player so let's just fix the shadow thing now we go into the word scene we select this direction light 3d we expand this shadow and enable it this is disabled by default so you have to enable this one and now if you go to the scene the player will have shadow if i move the player a bit up and preview the game you can see the player keeps floating so now we are going to fix that one so let's go into the script before this left right movement i'm going to clear some space and i'm going to type if not is on floor so what this is doing is we're checking if we are not on floor or we are not grounded that means we are on in air we are going to simply do velocity dot y minus equals gravity times delta what this line of code will do is that it will it will move the player downwards with this value gravity multiplied by delta and the player will smoothly fall down as you can see the player moves right through this ground because in the csg box there is this option use collision which is disabled so let's just enable it and it will work now so now it can collide we can move and it can also fall down so the gravity is now working let's work on the jumping which is also very simple so we're going to say if input dot is action just pressed so now the just pressed will only trigger once while we press this key okay so i'm just going to pass in the jump action colon and in the next line i'm going to say velocity dot y equals the jump force the jump force is this variable we created and it should work now so if we go into the game we press jump button we jump but the jump value is quite high so i'm going to set it to 10. all right now as you can see the player jumps but it keeps on jumping right there is no limit of jump so let's fix that inside after this uh, condition we are going to say and is on floor so this will make sure that the player can only jump when it's grounded and when it when it is not it cannot jump so now the player will only jump once and it cannot jump any further our character controller is now finished